Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and kind of a review on this Go Pure water filter. So you can buy these from Amazon or their website, $25. So it kind of claims that it can purify water and add some minerals to your water. They show you put it in a reusable water jug. So the reason I'm, I'm reviewing it is because I bought a Keurig off of um, Facebook Marketplace and the person that was selling me the Keurig also gave me a bunch of these. And I really didn't know what they were. But she said she puts them in her reservoir for her Keurig machine where the water is. And so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to kind of show people what's inside them and what you get. So they come in this, it's got this cork and this is glass container. But now when you first get them out, they feel kind of, they got like a powder on them. And it, they do say that you're supposed to rinse them. Yeah, it says you're supposed to rinse it for 10 seconds. I might rinse it a little bit longer. So I was able to open up one. They open up pretty easy. It's got this, I think that's just a plastic container. So it talks about this. This is going to be doing some filtering and giving some minerals off. And it feels, you know, kind of hard but it definitely looks like it's really, really porous. And that's what's inside of this holder. And here's what the holder looks like. Now it says each pod can purify up to 264 gallons of water. So it talks about this ceramic, the advanced ceramic in the middle. Something like it's equivalent to six football fields. Now here's an interesting fact. It says one advanced ceramic pod lasts six times longer than a leading carbon filter. Hmm. It says the pod works like an impurities magnet. It absorbs heavy metal, bacteria, and chemicals and more. So I'm going to put one in my Keurig um, K Supreme for a while. So I'm going to go rinse it off first. I just took it out. I'm going to rinse it off. Okay, so here I've got a Keurig machine. So any standard Keurig machine with a water reservoir, you could use this in. I've got a carbon filter in this one right now, so I can leave the carbon filter in, and I can just set it in there. And it says by, so every time you kind of move this, it's gonna cause that water to kind of circle around it, or when you fill it up, water's gonna get circled around it. But even if I leave my carbon filter out, I can see that it's gonna sit in there. You know, it's not gonna block the water going in or anything, so I can have it in there while I do this. So it, it talked about being able to put it in like a, a water bottle. Like say you empty this and you want to just fill it up with water, but it doesn't fit in kind of a standard water bottle. So they do talk about being able, being able to put it in like a, a reusable water bottle. And that is the case. So you would just put it in there you, after you rinsed it off, of course, then you could just fill this up with water each time. And they say kind of the motion kind of helps get the water around and kind of helps take out some of the impurities. And same with this one. Now it doesn't fit through there. So you could just, you know, put it in there. And then it's not going to come out. Interestingly enough, it on this uh, Yeti, it does go through the big opening on there so be careful if you are drinking it could come out so I have used it for a little while I haven't noticed that big a change in the taste but I'm gonna keep using it I'll keep updating the show notes if I if I find that it's really improving the taste of my coffee or my water now the thing about coffee is so they you do read online that you know coffee is 99% water so having good filtered water is important to a good cup of coffee and again, you can put that in any Keurig machine. Just throw it in the water reservoir. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.